Welcome to Queen's Cooks, a program highlighting Queen's amazing food entrepreneurs, brought to you by Astoria Film Festival and the QEDC's Entrepreneur Space. This episode was made possible in part by funds from a grant from the Queen's Council on the Arts. I'm Lisa Spodak. I'm Nicholas Favia. And your company is? NYC Cooking Club. So we are a meal prep delivery service and we're focused on portion controlled, higher protein, lower fat, lower carb. So basically we cook once a week right now. Our goal is to cook more than once a week once we have the demand. And we cook once a week and we deliver to people at their home or office or some of our people work in theaters, stuff like that. Uh, or gyms, we deliver to gyms as well. And so we cook about uh, 12 or 13 recipes a week and people can order food. They order a la carte what they want and then we cook it all based on the orders and then we deliver it. And how can people join if they want to? Uh, they can go to our website, which is nyccookingclub.com, uh, and there's just a tab there that says order now, and they can just order food. Um, if people are interested in cooking, they can also reach out to us. Uh, we do have sort of, it's almost like a work study or, you know, co-op kind of situation uh, where people can come cook and then they get free food if they come cook with us. Uh, and it's a great way to meet people, you know, and, and learn how to cook or if a lot of people are good cooks, but they want the variety, you know, I mean, the, the thing that's challenging is if you, if you meal prep for yourself and you make a crock pot of food, you're stuck with that food all week and you're stuck with eight or 10 servings of that food. When we cook together, we make a variety of things and you end up with one or two servings of a bunch of different things instead of a bunch of servings of one or two things, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think that's, that's sort of the appeal. You know, for some people, it's just, I don't want to cook, bring me food. For some people, it's like, I don't want to cook by myself, but I'm happy to come cook with you. And for some people, it's like, I really like cooking, but I can't cook enough food to get enough variety, you know. So it, th those are sort of the different different types of people that I think what we're doing resonates with. We have some people that come like every, week, every week, you know, and it's great. And it's, you know, we go out to dinner afterwards, you know, so that's fun. What gave you the idea to start the company? So Lisa has been doing Cooking Club actually for since 2013. Um, and basically it started just with, out of necessity, like there's, we both go to the same gym and there's a pro, like a six week program that they do and they give you like, nutritional stuff and all that to like kind of help you re meet your fitness goals and people very quickly realized that macro managing your macros is very hard and meal prep isn't fun it's not fun <laughs> you've all been warned <laughs> um, so uh, what she did was she actually invited a bunch of people to come over and they can so they can meal prep together that way like it was more fun because you were working with a bunch of people, but also you weren't eating like chili all week. So they would make like, at the time they would probably do like eight different recipes, I guess. Uh, and that, and um, but yeah, so they would do like a bunch of different recipes. Everyone would take a little bit of everything home. So they had a bunch of different things to eat throughout the week. Then during the pandemic, um, uh, why, like, oh, why don't we, why don't we just do it and we can just deliver it to people? Um, so we were doing it out of this apartment for a while, and then very quickly we were like, there's no room. And it was, you know. <laughs> but I don't think either of us likes cooking for not, dinner yeah, for no, one I person, don't, yeah, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't that, that's not. <laughs> so you relate to your key demographic. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, absolutely. It's like, you don't like cooking? Well, we're here for that. We're, gonna <laughs> we're, like, we're not going to like cooking with you. <laughs> <laughs> we started a, a program through our website where people can purchase um, food that gets donated. We also will, um, for every 10 portions purchased, we make one donation as well. So we donate portions of food, and what we do is we just go to a community refrigerators and put them in there and people take them. Like, and the, wait, it's funny, this is one of those things like, I've seen them, I didn't know what they were, and what we've had like people who do our deliveries, and even when we've done them once or twice, where we go, we like it, it's like, oh, you know, it's like midnight because we're leaving the kitchen. We get to the refrigerator and like, there are people waiting for food. There's nothing official, there is nothing official about it. It's like, in, in the sense that it's just a fridge on the street. You yeah. don't sign up for anything okay. really, as far as getting food, you just, are like, oh, there's a fridge, you open it, you grab what you want, and you leave. It's just, you don't have to qualify. I mean, there's no, 
you don't have to meet certain qualifications. It's just there to help people. And what I didn't realize with the community fridges that actually started during the pandemic, I thought that that was something that had always been there, um, but they really started during the pandemic when people were especially facing food insecurity. It's about providing food for people, but I think it's also about not wasting food because yeah. sometimes too, you know, all these fridges have Instagrams now, right? And sometimes they'll even post on there, like we just got 40 pounds of potatoes that are about to go bad. Like they're fine for another day or two. They're about to go bad, please come take them. We've donated over 2000 servings and we have, you know, we have some people that like donate one serving a week. You know, so they'll sign, you can sign up recurring on the website. So some people donate one serving a week, two servings a week. Some people do like a small bag every month. Mm -hmm. um, my dad actually does a big bag every week, you know. He specifically wanted to um, donate it to an organization that helped vets. And in a, I guess a small world kind of thing, you were working. It was a place where I was doing <laughs> acupuncture. We, yeah. So we bought a fridge, we gave them a fridge, and, we and we delivered the food every week. <laughs> now I didn't know to do my work. Or the other one, I put the cheddar in the other one. I know, but it might not be exactly right. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a It's fine. It doesn't, it's, 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 we're in too deep now, it's happening. But don't 